What is up, everybody? Today, we're going to be taking a look at this right here, right there, the V-Copter. Now, listen, I know these unboxings are incredibly boring, okay? But uh, I didn't think that I could squeeze the, um, the showing you of this thing uh, in that short format, you know, in that 60 seconds thing that I'm... I'm doing that now with most of my unboxings is the 60 seconds because I unboxings, you know, I know they get a little bit, they get a little bit monotonous. So we're just going to do it this way, but I'm going to make it as painless as possible with the cuts and stuff like that. So let's get down here and uh, get into this. All right, guys, the first thing we're going to do is take a look at this controller, the zero zero blast off controller. It sounds pretty cool. Blast off. All right, let's look at it. All right, there it is right there. It's really nice. And it feels real. It has a really nice feel to it. And hey, DJI, check this out. I like this design down here where it just folds back from behind. And you pop the phone in right there in the front. And then the uh, gimbals store back here. See? Just pop them off. Right there. And right there. Yeah, looks pretty good. There's your charge ports right there. Here's your micro USB, or no, your USB-C and then your regular USB port for connecting the controller or firmwares or whatever it is you need to do. And then these just screw right in here and they're steel or aluminum milled. They're not uh, plastic or anything like that. They're metal, okay? So, yeah, here's your emergency stop button here, your return to home button here, photo video some dials you know dial it in then your antennas come up here yeah real cool all right let's get that v-copter out oh excuse me they give you a little neck strap which ken here on said there's nowhere to hook it up so <laughs> maybe not using it all right let me give you a few specs on it here's the quadcopter and the accessories itself um the quadcopter weighs in at 760 grams it has a 4.3 mile transmission distance, which to say I'm skeptical of that is the understatement of the century, okay? It'll shoot 4K 30 or a, and down to 720, 60, and it's got a 400, uh, 4,500 milliamp hour battery, which the battery is quite large in this thing. And so are the props. The props are pretty damn long right there, okay? They're pretty big. Okay, so inside the uh, box there, you get the charger, you know, you get your complimentary screwdriver, you get the cord to plug the charger in, some, you know, USB action. Here's the legs. Comes with a little stand. You can use it or you cannot. It's a, your preference. Uh, the spare props. And then you get that manual. Now, I'm going to show you this. I took this sticker off already, so when I crack this open. Um, <clears throat> there was a caution sticker on here that I took off. And all it was was to remind you to press the buttons in when you're releasing the uh, arms. Okay? So you take the quadcopter out of the box like that and there's these buttons. And that's what the sticker was for you to remind you to press those buttons in like that when you're gonna release the arms like to bring the arms up like that okay so you then you would press it in on the other side and bring it up like that also so let me get this out of the way so you would see it like that okay so it'll sit there like that then you spin the motors up in the air like this and open this up to launch and then what you also wanted to do is uh, when you went down here you wanted to make sure the button popped out so you would want to that you hear that okay so it just popped out all the way and then over here I would do the same thing and what you did it popped out a little bit right there too here's the camera right here the gimbal cover actually goes on and off pretty easily, which is nice compared to some of these other ones like the Evo 2 and 
some of these other ones. So the battery is right here, and then you just slide this down and pop that out, right like that. There's some obstacle avoidance in the front right there. And some sensors of some sort there. And then there's a light in the back right there. Right here, the light. The battery's not charged. Uh, I'm not gonna turn it on right now, but uh, I'm gonna get it charged up and get it outside flying as soon as humanly possible. Believe me, I'm dying to fly this thing. And then here, I'll just go show you the app real quick. The app right here is just called V-Copter. It's right there. And when you turn the app on, you have to register and all that mumbo jumbo, you know, it's real simple stuff, you know, it, it, it's easy stuff. You just set up an account because it won't even let you use the app without logging into the account. So you have to go through all that stuff, but it's, it, it's easy. It's just boom, boom, you know, you know, they'll, you, you'll sit there and you'll put the information in and then they'll send you a confirmation code. You just click on that and you're in. So it's real simple. But the battery, yeah, the battery is really beefy. So, yeah, it may get 50 minutes of flight time. Probably, I'd be happy with 30, but let's go with the, uh, they're claiming 50. And I actually seen a couple demonstrations of it. It went actually longer than that, so. All right, guys, there you go. There was the quick unboxing. Uh, let's go fly this thing.